A new WNBA expansion to San Francisco is renewing hopes that more hoops could be coming to Sacramento. Some are wishing the Monarchs will return one day. You remember the Monarchs if you've been here more than a minute? That's right, they had a championship parade in their honor. Andrew Haber's been on this story, getting answers for us uh, on if that's possible to bring the Monarchs or a team like the Monarchs back here. Andrew? Yeah, guys, you know, there's always that discussion of whether or not Northern California is big enough for two pro sports teams. That's the case in basketball, but it's becoming increasingly less so these days in football, now in baseball, and eventually in women's hoops as well. The WNBA gave a new expansion franchise to San Francisco, but what does that mean for the Monarchs and a potential dream of bringing a WNBA club back to the city, capital city? I'm getting answers. The return of star guard Ruthie Bolton. Ruthie Bolton is a former Sacramento Monarch who says people always ask her one question. Yeah, every, anytime I see them out and about, I'm going to get another team. And the answer is still unknown. <laughs> Even as the WNBA awards a new franchise to San Francisco. The Bay Area is firmly aligned with our already strong fan base of diverse and engaged basketball fans. Golden State Warriors owner Joe Lacob and his group spearheading that charge. I think the league is ready for this expansion. Women's basketball in general is taking off. Women's sports in general is taking off in a bigger way. Bolton has worked with the Warriors in community projects and says that this is all good for the game. Texas and oh my God, I can't believe we'll have another WNBA team and, and we need it. We need it bad. Like we're like two or three years behind. Yep. But she does hope the Kings ownership can make a move to bring her old team back. Definitely think, even though it's only like an hour and a half away, they can definitely accommodate for two teams. And I just think Sacramento needs to step up. The Kings didn't answer a repeated request for comment today about whether or not discussions had occurred between them and the WNBA. But League Commissioner Kathy Engelbert said the city is on a short list. But there's many cities who have reached out to us um, at, with different ownership groups, and we continue to have productive conversation with all of those cities. But yes, Sacramento is one of those on the list. As Team 14, or any teams that may come for the high rising top league of women's basketball. The city of Sacramento said that they are not aware of any discussions between the city and the league, but also the theory here is that they wouldn't need to. Something like Major League Soccer, even Golden One Center here behind me, required the city to be involved in the permitting process, infrastructure, street lights. But if you were to bring a WNBA franchise here, all the infrastructure and everything is already in place. So that would solely be a King's decision, hence some of the quiet that we've heard and the repeated request for comment that went unreturned on our end. So the saga isn't over yet, but this is really in the King's court. If they want to bring a WNBA franchise here to Sacramento.